Good afternoon, everyone. Eric Mara here to report the area news for WJSQ WLAR. Brought to you by Farmers Insurance, a Donnie Gaddis agency. Well, a group of students and a professors from the University of Tennessee are working to make the Tennessee River more accessible. WBIR TV reports it took two years for students in a landscape architecture class to create a map of 652 miles trail along the river that would stretch from Knoxville, Tennessee to Paducah, Kentucky. University of Tennessee professor Brad Collette said the idea for the Tennessee River Project came from students in 2016. The vision is a multi-model trail that people could use to hike, bike, and paddle. Collette said he'd like to turn their vision into a reality and he's started by reaching out to organizations to gain support. Here's some more news out of the University of Tennessee. They finalized a $1.33 million settlement with ousted Chancellor Bev Beverly Davenport, formally ending her employment at the school after a tumultuous tenure that lasted less than a year and a half. The Board of Trustees Audit and Compliance Committee held a conference call Tuesday approving a separation agreement announced Friday. As I leave, I want to thank all of those people that I had the opportunity to stand alongside in doing this noble work, Davenport said, as part of her statement delivered via Twitter. Higher education is no small feat. It is not for the weak, but it has indeed been one of the greatest privileges of my life to have served as the 8th Chancellor of the flagship campus of the University of Tennessee, said Davenport. Five of the six audit compliance committee members voted in favor of her removal. Wayne Hickman couldn't participate due to illness in the family. A hospital in East Tennessee says it has nearly 10 children under the age of four test positive for E. coli. East Tennessee, East Tennessee Children's Hospital Chief Medical Officer Dr. Joe Childs says four children were being treated for kidney failure. The Knox County Health Department tells news outlets it issued an alert Tuesday saying most of the ill children had consumed raw milk from French Board Farm in Mascot. The department says that for now people shouldn't consume raw milk or any unpasteurized products from the cow share dairy. Department Director Dr. Martha Buchanan says drinking raw milk is a risk because bacteria like E. coli cannot be seen with the naked eye. Buchanan says roughly 1,800 E. coli bacteria can sit on one head of a pen and around 10 could make someone sick. Well here's some community announcements. The Southeast Tennessee Human Resource Agency will distribute USDA commodities to the eligible McMinn County residents on Thursday, June 7th from noon to 4 p.m. at the National Guard Armory located on Highway 30 between Athens and Etowah. If you hear new local news, you can hear the local news and state news on WJSQ FM 101.7 Monday through Saturday at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., noon, and 5 p.m. WJSQ News can be also be heard here on the WJSQ WLAR YouTube channel Monday through Friday every evening with a wrap-up of today's headlines. If you see news happening or you just want to let us know about a community event, you can reach out to us via email at news, that's N-E-W-S, at WJSQWLAR.com. This is Eric Marr reporting the evening news. You all have a great day.